what do you normally do when your prayers seem unanswered? Welcome to Unifier TV, where truth has no fear. This is a tough question. It's an, it's an everyday question. It's a question that uh, almost all of us have asked ourselves, uh, maybe recently, maybe today, we've asked ourselves this, ourselves this question. The best thing I can tell you to do is that when you're going through the motions and having those questions pop up in your head and your mind and your heart of what's going on, how am I going to survive this? I'm getting ready to snap. Believe it or not, some of the most fulfilling things to do during that time are things that you can seem that you can do for other people. If you could find something to do for someone else to lift their spirits, it will undoubtedly lift your spirits. Like that's God's honest truth. Sometimes when I'm feeling uh, I'm at my lowest and I just I don't want to be around anyone. I don't want to talk. I don't I have to find the words to be encouraging. I the best thing that helps me get myself back in good spirits is to lift someone else's spirits. It really it, it, it really helps me. I don't know if I'm crazy. I don't know if this helps anyone else. But for me, when I'm feeling like I'm really just down and out, I don't want to. I want to give up this platform. I want to give up everything. The best ways that I found to get myself out of that ditch was to find someone to encourage. That's a lot of, that's a lot of the reason why I post these videos, why I post to my podcast, why I post inspirational photos or, 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 or text. That's why I do it because a lot of times I don't, I'm not in the best place, not in the best state of mind, not in the best place emotionally either. But we all need help. We all need to be uplifted. So if I'm going to sit there and, and try to be encouraging, you know, sometimes I need to be encouraged. So the words that I find, the words that God gives me to pet me up, the, the Bible verses he will remind me of, I have to give it to you. I have to pass it to the people that are listening and watching because we all need to hear it. We all need to hear it. I'm not arrogant at all, but sometimes I rewatch some of my videos or re-listen to some of my podcasts when I'm feeling those same feelings that I had when I made it. I don't post this stuff just for me. I don't post it just for you. I'll post it for all of us because we all need to hear something encouraging. When God gives me a word, I have to give it out. And so when you are at your lowest point or you feel you're at your lowest point, try to find someone to uplift. Try to find someone to encourage. Donate something to someone. Just give. Give your time. Give your energy. Give some laughs. You know, give off whatever positivity you may have or find a way to make someone else feel better who may or may not even be in a worse position than you. They may be in a worse position. They may not be. But find someone to encourage. Find someone to uplift. That will undoubtedly bring joy back into you and your heart and your life, even if it's temporary. Joy is joy. And so it, it makes a difference to find that point of helping someone when you would rather be selfish. You'd rather be selfish and be in your hole and sit back and stew and think about it and just go through the motions. But that's not healthy. That's not healthy. It's not healthy. It's not good for you. It's not good for the people around you. So to get out of that, help someone else. There's always someone out there who needs a good word. So when you are having those moments do yourself a favor, do someone else a favor and find that positivity. Make someone's day because that is something that is so valuable and respected. God loves to see that. God loves to see us act out of positivity and not out of selfishness. If we're looking out for someone more than we're looking out for ourselves, there's a reward that comes with that. Don't do it for the reward. Do it because it's the right thing to do. But God loves to see it. So take this moment. Find someone. Just you know, look around. It shouldn't be that hard. Find someone who needs a positive word. And if you allow God to speak through you, you will have the words to say. Watching them smile and feeling them have that feeling of being uplifted, it will be contagious. And you will find yourself getting over whatever it is that's dragging you down. So today, make it a purpose to find someone to uplift. There's, there's someone out there for you.